Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the uh, Renowned Explorers the International Society, the Emperor's Challenge. We just finished a random run, and I thought we'd go back and do an Emperor's Challenge now. Kind of just switching between the two. I do like both game modes. They're very different, um, and you really have to focus on different things in them, and so I like switching between them. But uh, if you guys like one more than the other, let me know. I'd be curious to find that out. But for now... Let's do a Emperor's Challenge. All right, let's see here. Okay, well, we got a new daily challenge for today. Research Collector and Aggressive Champion. Interesting. Okay, this is your main goal. Main challenge, gather as much research as possible. Optimize the value of your tokens, then collect mountains of them. Very nice. And secondly, Aggressive Champion, win as many encounters as possible with the Aggressive Attitude. And the first threshold is to win three. All right, very good. Well, maybe it's just me, but someone comes to mind immediately for this challenge, and that would be Anna. Not only is Anna decent in an Aggressive Crew, her Brilliant Scientist Captain perk means that completing a research paper will give your study token a random improvement. Not only does this mean that you're not hurt by gathering hundreds of study tokens, because it'll also give you other bonuses, but oftentimes the improvement you will get is 0 to 1 extra study per study token. And if you can stack that up a few times, you can end up with a lot of study. So yeah, I think Anna is the obvious choice here for your captain for your aggressive crew. Now, as for the other choices, Anna is an engineer and a naturalist, okay, and she does get experimentation, which isn't the best AoE in the world, but it is an AoE, at least. Now, normally for an aggressive crew, I love Hatice. She's so strong in an aggressive crew, and her AoE piercing shot is incredible. 75% attack power in a line. Uh, about four tiles, which means you can often hit three enemies. It's really good. It's really good. Not only that, but you can later uh, upgrade it. You can either get plus 100% power when it only has one target, which I generally don't do, or you can increase the range by two. You can double the range when Hatice is confident, uh, which is insane. Like, it's just absolutely incredible. Yep. Not only that, but you can increase the power piercing shot at any time you want by using focus the turn before. Increasing it by 60% attack power. It's great. Um, yeah, so I do like Katis. We do get a double remove from our campfire stories, which is a little unfortunate, but not the end of the world. This does mean we don't have a speaker. And you know me, I love to have a speaker. But... Yeah, so few speakers work well in an aggressive crew. Feylin, a little bit, but even then it's not strong. And Charles doesn't really do very well either. Let me check out Feylin again. Yeah, her, her aggressive attack here, Assassination, just isn't that great. It only works if you're friendly, and we're not going to be in a friendly mood very often. And even then it doesn't seem as good as some of the other special moves that characters get. So for once, I'm tempted to not take a Diplomat or a Beguiler. Just tempted to not take a Speaker. Uh, we could take a Fighter instead, which I rarely take. That's very unusual for me. Victor, Dolores, Ivan. Any of these would work, actually. All of these members are aggressive to some degree. Uh, I like John Piet. He's a, he's a decent, tanky character to start with. Um, gets... An AoE, an inspiring attack, which is which is decent, uh, and he does get Peace Treaty, which which is a AoE heal, so that's not bad. Hmm. I don't know. Wang Yu is one of the new characters, and he was decent at aggressive. He's got his own AoE here. 
fireworks, 40% attack power. Um, oh, it's actually not an AoE, sorry. It's just a single target attack. But it gives them a good debuff. Minus 25 speech defense and minus 40 attack for two turns, which is not bad. And then Big Boom is his, uh, his AoE, but that's devious. Uh, he also gets kind of a rare tactician perk, by the way. Artillery. Not very common for people to start with artillery. It's a very, very rare tactician perk. I don't know if that was added for this guy. I don't even know if it existed before this guy was added. Uh, because I don't recognize it. It's not one you see very often. We go with Bia. Um, Bia has an excellent ability, triple slash, and she can upgrade it even more. Uh, if, depending on what the character is feeling. If, if, uh, if she's enraged or if, uh, the target is terrified. Or if the target is enraged or terrified. So that kind of works with devious moves, which we do have some of. In fact, yeah, we have a decent amount. Anna has terrify and Hatice has sadden. Okay, so sadden doesn't work with it, but terrify would. Wouldn't be bad. She also gets fighter training, which is pretty nice. Uh, one crew member gains athlete and tactician perks. Not bad at all. Huh. How about Ivan? Ivan can get a decent amount of study, which we do want. We want we want research in this campaign. He can gain extra study for level of athlete, which is nice. <clears throat> and then he also gets more study per level of naturalist. Which he, he can learn to become a naturalist. And I believe Anna can as well. Yeah, Anna starts as a naturalist. So that would not be a bad idea to get a bunch of more study. We don't want his crew story. So Ivan's crew story basically makes him into a friendly character. Which obviously we don't want to do because we want to solve things aggressively. So we would just never play this. Or we'd just discard it immediately if we ran into it. Which wouldn't be the end of the world. That would be fine. Uh, Ivan does have Pinning Strike, which I like. Uh, it holds down a target. Means it has to tar they have to target Ivan, essentially. Which is not bad. You know what? Yeah, let's take Ivan. I, I think I like this crew. We've got a little bit of a tankier character here. We've got a ranged character in Hatice. And then Anna is a little bit of a mix. She has a melee attack. She has a ranged AoE. And she has our brilliant scientist improvement, which we love. Or hopefully we're going to love. And of course, we're not going to start randomly. We're going to start with the Celtic Code Starter, which gives us some research to, uh, just off the bat. That will be very nice. All right. Now, our one downside here is we won't have an archaeologist. And the only reason that's a big downside is because Indonesia almost requires a good archaeologist to get stuff done. And we don't have one, which is unfortunate. I don't think there's anything we're gonna change for that. I don't I don't think so. I think we're just gonna go with this. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Here we go. And there is our crew. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Ivan's reading his little book. Excuse me, I wanna take a drink here. This is it, the Emperor's Challenge. Here we go. Anna wants to make a fantastic first impression. That's always a good sign. And our first uh, item of opportunity is a druidic stone circle. We don't need the tutorial. Let's go. And there it is. It's nice that uh, whatever superpower we have allows us to instantly know where our final destination is on any of these expeditions. I haven't actually mentioned that before. It is quite interesting, though. All right, what do we got here for our challenges? So we got our two main ones, the Research Collector and the Aggressive Champion. And then we have Collector of Study. Well, that should be easy to solve. And a Retriever of Treasure. So we want to find a treasure and we want to find four study tokens. Let's see how we can do that. All right. Well, first things first, we uh, got some more supplies that only topped us back off. That wasn't that exciting. Let's go see if we can get some research. The crew finds an overgrown rock formation with some rare herbs. Excellent. 
However, Anna recognizes that useful minerals might be in the rock, and she is obsessively curious. So we have no choice but to mine the rock to see what's going on and lose this research, which is very unfortunate. We'd rather have that research in this case, but here we go. Uh, but we did get some interesting valuable minerals, so we did get some study at least. Eh, not great, but it's not the end of the world. Let's check out this nature challenge. Athlete, naturalist, or survivalist. We do have an athlete and we do have a naturalist, so... You know, not too bad. The crew traverses an area that looks like it's never been trodden before. Ivan finds a weird colorful stone. Okay, let's take a look at it. It doesn't look fancy at all. The crew just waves it away as a common pebble. Anna, however, thinks there's more to it and jots down some observations. We get one study and we keep the stone. That stone could come in handy later. Now, there's a possibility this is our hidden hoard. Or this is our hidden hoard. I don't know which one. There's only one per expedition, and it's always at an empty node. I'm reluctant to waste the supply going to this, on the off chance it's not. But on the other hand, if this ends up not being it, then I'm going to be sad that we left our hidden hoard back here. <laughs> Alright, let's spend the supply. Oh, okay, it's not the hidden hoard, but we do get uh, a little unknown fern, and uh, we get a little study and a little renown for finding it. Very nice. And there's our campfire already. Let's take a look and see what cards we have available for us today. Alright, there's Vow of Peace. We're going to discard that immediately. We don't want that. We don't want Ivan beco uh, becoming unable to use violence. We have uh, Professor Anna. I always say Professor Anna because I can't pronounce her last name. Proskirikova? Proskirikova? How is that? Professor Proskirikova? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, considering I can't pronounce names like Earl... Um, I have no confidence whatsoever in my ability to pronounce a last name like that. Wh where are you from, anyway? Are you? I don't know. I don't know where you're from. Hmm, I'm kind of curious. Where is Anna from? One second, I'm gonna look. I've, I've done this a couple times now, because I'm always curious. Where are these characters actually from? Uh, ignore what's going on in the background there. That's because it detects my keystrokes, even if I'm in another window. <laughs> so it's opening up stuff. All right, Anna is from Russia. Okay, I was wondering, Proskirikova, or however you pronounce it, did sound pretty Russian to me, but I didn't want to say that and sound very ignorant when it wasn't. All right, so we got our Russian, sign our Russian professor here. Very nice. Polymath is an excellent story card. Extra renown if you have a crew member with naturalist, engineer, and archaeologist. We will have naturalist and engineer perks, so we will get some amount of renown from that. But uh, it's this early on, we won't get anything, so we'll just hold on to that. The encounter card isn't very exciting. We'll probably let that be thrown away. And so we're going to start with Professor Proskirikova. Maybe. How's my accent? Terrible, I know. Um, Anna tries to teach someone naturalist engineer perks that Anna has as well. Well, Anna doesn't have any naturalist or engineer. No, she has naturalist perks. She doesn't have any engineer perks. So that is unfortunate. But it wouldn't be a bad thing if Ivan got some naturalist perks because he can learn naturalist perks uh, by default. And, but he can't learn Equilatromagnetics or Mathematics. He learns Biology and Geology. So if we could give him um, these Naturalist Perks, that wouldn't be bad at all. So let's try that. So we're going to try to teach Ivan some Naturalist Perks. Anna thinks it's important for the crew to learn about the natural sciences and engineering. After all, science is mankind's most important pursuit. Anna thinks Ivan is especially undereducated, oh, poor Ivan, and ponders on her teaching style. Uh, Ivan is a very kind person, and so I think we're going to be nice and enthusiastic. Yes, enthusiasm is a contagious, and Anna is aware that she's already pretty intimidated to begin with. She awkwardly slides towards Ivan and asks if he has heard of the totally rad sciences like physics. Yes, he has. He is a naturalist himself. Anna's soft approach works wonders for Ivan. Ivan is normally a bit scared of Anna, but seeing her gentle side is really adorable. Not only does Ivan become interested in the sciences, but Ivan also grows to like Anna. Aw, how sweet. Time to do a test. Anna has prepared a test with all kinds of words of encouragement in the margin, such as you can do it and science is fun. It helped. Ivan learned all about either electromagnetics or he gets a grand discovery. And I'm going to give him electromagnetics. Ivan learned the perk, naturalist, electromagnetics. Anna will surely teach Ivan even more in the coming adventures. Very nice. Hopefully we can just get some free perks out of that, and I will not complain at all if that's what happens. Okay, 
Uh, we got our point for getting enough study tokens. Very nice. We still need our one for getting a treasure. And we still need to find three aggressive encounters. Hopefully we will get there. All right, another nature challenge. Let's move along. There's another weird colorful stone. Excellent. Now, Anna is an excellent naturalist, and she can investigate this stone. It is special, not in the magical sense of the word, but it has properties that will aid in wave research, so we get a bunch of study. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, we're going to continue going to nature challenges, because we seem good at that. Out of nowhere, a huge cliff stands before you. Such a geological rarity often holds some exceptional treasures. Let's look around. Ivan mentions there's plenty to find at the foot of the cliff. Maybe a survivalist or an athlete would be able to climb it up. Well, Ivan is an athlete, and, and uh, we'll pick that option for him. A very daring endeavor. What kind of treasure is he looking for? I mean, whenever there's an option to find a fossil, I will almost always go for it. I am, after all, a paleontologist at heart. Let's find a fossil. Looking for treasure here might be dangerous, but after a long search, Ivan finally finds a real treasure worth taking home. 75% chance of the Ammonite, 30% chance of the Sunstone, and 13% chance of the Druid Quartz. Let's see what we get. And there is the Ammonite, after all. Five study or a discovery. Very nice. Ooh, I don't know what's worth more. Probably the discovery. I don't know. Let's take the discovery and check, but I bet it's the discovery. Here we go. So a study token is worth four to six, and we were going to get five of them. So we would get approximately 20 to 30 research. And a discovery token is worth 20 to 30 research, but we also get 20 to 30 um, gold as well. So that was the better choice. All right, excellent. Let's continue. So this is probably our hidden hoard since our last empty node was not. We only have two supplies, uh, and we are going to run out, but let's go try to find our hidden hoard. If we can get another discovery token... There we go, a significant discovery. We'll go ahead and take that. And here is our first encounter we've run into. Again, I'm out of supplies already. I'm willing to take a bunch of debuffs to get a good start here. I think that's going to be worth it. So let's go to our encounter. Some cuddly sheep. It makes it hard to move. They're surrounding us. It makes it hard to move, and we have to do something. Hatiz can make a distraction because she's a level one quick thinker, or we can engage. Now, in this case, Engaging is actually the better choice because we need to resolve encounters aggressively. <clears throat> However, engaging will only give us two encounter tokens. And this will give us five. But we really need three aggressive encounters. So I think we're going to have to actually fight. Which is too bad. Because now we have to beat up the cuddly sheep again. This seems to be our thing as aggressive crews. The first encounter we run into as an aggressive crew always seems to be beating up sheep. I don't know why, I don't know what the sheep did, uh, but apparently they have irked us in some manner. And we're going to electrocute them. Yep. That's okay, it's uh, it's electric, electro th shock therapy. That's what it is, yes. It's definitely that, and not just that we're homo, you know, crazy maniacs who love killing sheep. Yep. Not much more to say about that. So we'll just start taking these guys out. Leave two sheep behind. Two little sheep shouldn't be a problem for us. And we'll finish off the encounter next turn. And we did get our Inconvincible there. That's our special quest for taking less than 10 damage from an attack. Which we just did from a speech attack. Uh, specifically. And we just did that. So cool. And if we're lucky, this encounter will level up our characters a little bit. There we go. More electrocuted sheep. Are we sure we're the heroes in this story? I'm not convinced. A wise man from a time long ago once said, A knocked out sheep cannot follow you. That is definitely true. An electrocuted sheep, definitely less so. Uh, we are out of supplies, so Ivan loses some attack power. That's really unfortunate. But we do have a level up on Anna. Now, would we want a Naturalist perk or an Engineer? I'm tempted to get the Naturalist perk, because again, we're looking for study on this run. And uh, study tokens. And elect a Naturalist with a high level of perks uh, will have a better chance of finding those study tokens. But we do have another Naturalist, Ivan. 
so that is a hard decision. You know what? I think I am going to do that. I'm going to level Anna as a naturalist and ignore her engineering side. I think, yeah. Yeah, I am going to do that. that that's what we're going to do. All right. I very rarely level a full naturalist, um, and I'm always excited to do so whenever I get the opportunity. Just because it's something different. All right, another nature perk, or another nature challenge, I should say. Let's take a look. Sometimes you find a natural phenomenon that's wor worth researching, but if you approach it incorrectly, your data might be useless. Fortunately, we will not approach it incorrectly because Anna is an excellent naturalist and makes some interesting discoveries. Get a little study, we're out of supplies again, and Ivan loses some armor. Poor Ivan. Apparently, he's the one who really cares about being out of food. All right. Um, let's go to this node because there's something interesting there. The outdoors are not for everybody, but walking in such a pristine landscape is bound to inspire someone to gain a passage, passion excuse me, passion for biology. Excellent. Now, Ivan can learn biology automatically right there. But Anna cannot, I don't think. No, she cannot. So we're going to give it to Anna. Sure. There we go. Anna gains naturalist biology and a love for all living things on this planet. Should we mention that she just electrocuted a bunch of sheep? Have I mentioned that? Like, I think that's come up. Okay, Anna. Sure. Hey, Anna loses some speech defense. All right. All right. How greedy am I? How much do I want these other nodes? I'd really love to get one more encounter, but I... The only chance of getting one would be for it to be right here. Let's let's check it out. If there's an encounter here, we'll go to it. Because that's important. There is not an encounter there. Alright. Uh, music is coming from the meadow, but there's no one in sight. It's a combination of a strange type of twin flower. Uh, with the wind. Okay. Get some study. I really would like to continue getting study, but we're losing attack power at an alarming rate. Oh, that is an encounter. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to do this encounter, and then we will leave. A group of wolves is being very protective and territorial. They're launching an attack on you. Let's go. Anna, need I remind you that you just claimed that you gained a love for all living things. Like, you literally just told us that you gained a love for all living things. And, and now we're going to have you go electrocute some wolves. Yep. I'm not convinced that Anna is a hero. Not convinced at all. Um, no, come over here. There we go. Now we did lose some attack power on both Ivan and Hatis, I believe. Yes. So they're going to be a little worse off than they would be normally. Let's see. Can these wolves hit me? Yes, they can. Okay. So if I back up one, can't they cannot, but I can also not hit them. That's okay. We're just going to back up. We're going to make... I guess we'll make Anna confident. That's going to up her attack by 25%. Just to help a little bit next turn. And then we'll let these wolves come over and get a little closer to us. There we go. And we can start working on them. Go ahead and AoE. Very nice. And we should be able to finish them off. With one arrow from Matisse. And one giant fist from Ivan. There we go. Pretty simple encounter. And that's two of our three aggressive encounters taken care of. Ravalo did finally get one point because we did not fulfill Mood Switcher. We didn't switch the mood three times. That's okay. We're still decently ahead of him. Uh, man prevails over nature once again. You find some crying pups. You figure you'd just be nut mommy. Oh well, they'll recover soon enough. I'm not sure that's true, but okay, if that makes you feel better. Anna lost a little bit of armor. We did get two level ups. Now we are going to give Ivan Athlete Smashing. That not only does it give him a little extra attack, which is nice, um, but we already have a level 5 naturalist, level 4 naturalist. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. We'll give him the Athlete perk. Okay. And uh, Hatice. We can make her an engineer or we can make her a quick thinker. I do like having a quick thinker around. But. There is an item in the first shop that gives you two quick thinker perks. And I'm almost positive that one of the ones it gives is nimble. I think it gives you nimble and reflexes. So I'm going to risk it and give her the engineer perk instead. Yeah. 
All right. And we will try to give her the grappling hook as soon as possible, and hopefully that will give her nimble anyway. That's the plan, and we'll see what happens. Uh, do I want to take another debuff in order to grab this last research? Kind of. I kind of do. Yeah, let's do it. Sure, why not? Suddenly, Anna orders everyone to stop. This part of the forest looks different. Maybe someone used to live here? The crew starts investigating and finds broken Celtic pottery. Okay, we get a little bit of study and some collect. And Anna loses some speech defense. All right, let's see who we are paired with in this final combat. Here's the Druidic Circle. Once you get here, this expedition will come to an end, and we are ready. And we find the Standing Stone Circle. The Ruined Men here must contain valuable information. It will skyrocket your reputation, but we hear familiar laughter. It's Rivalo once again. Thank you, Amateur. Under 24B of the Explorer Mandate, fellow explorers should help each other out, and I really need to take the main one here to impress a lady. Um, I'm pretty sure you're doing it to impress the Emperor, and the Emperor last I checked was not, in fact, a lady. But perhaps Rivolo is just being... I don't know. Maybe he has trouble telling men and women apart or something? That, that would be interesting. Or maybe... Cassandra really likes... In here's I don't know I don't know how to explain that all right um well this is much most unfortunate we're going to have to talk to their scientist Cassandra Shafiq um and he's gonna take them in here while we're doing that which is unfortunate but here we go all right now I am a little worried that we got paired with Cassandra because Cassandra is a speech character she's a friendly character and we did take a lot of speech defense debuffs during our travels and uh, Cassandra also does not like it if you are aggressive. Thinks we are a brute. You know, to be fair, we kind of are. That's not untrue. <laughs> uh, that's not untrue at all, in fact. Uh, and wow, this is not a very good piercing shot setup either. Um, hmm. At most, we can hit two. And it won't take them out. So we should probably wait a turn to piercing shot. And I think we're going to back up and try to take out these two and let them sort of file in at us and maybe we'll get a good piercing shot across them doing that. Fortunately, Ivan does have enough attack power to take one out in one hit. That's very good. That will help us out a lot. That means that we can bring Anna and Atis back and take out this guy. Oh, okay, Anna can do it on her own. Never mind. Well, we'll use the opportunity to focus Atis then. This is always a good idea to do. I forget to do it. Some oh, never mind. Back up. We don't have her leveled up and she doesn't have focus yet. So we can't do that. So instead, I'm going to encourage Anna. That will give Anna 25% extra attack power. That's still helpful. And Piercing Shot will gain 25% attack power this turn. It gains a little bit of attack power every turn is off cooldown. It's been off cooldown for an extra turn now. So it will be a little bit stronger. Unfortunately, they did not group up in a nice circle for me. In fact, very much the opposite. They're in a very bad circle for me. Um, is there any way I can get around to a better position? Not really. So we can either take a really bad piercing shot. That's probably what we should do, though. We should probably just take the really bad piercing shot. I don't know. No, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. We're just going to attack this henchman over the wall. And then let's check and see who has the most speech defense left. Um, it's Ivan. So we'll let Ivan guard this entrance. Very nice. And we'll bring Anna up just behind him. And uh, yeah, we'll just hang out. And see what happens next turn. Hopefully Ivan can take up Cassandra for a turn. Oh, she's going to go for Hatice. Never mind. Okay, but that worked out. Very nice. Okay. So this is an even worse piercing shot. Oh, actually, it's the same. So I might as well take it now. There we go. And, um, hmm. We could bring Anna up here to take out this guy, maybe. Yep, with an AoE, we can do that, sure. Yes, you, you seem perfectly stable, Anna. What a, what a stable <laughs> a stable scientist we have on our team. And uh, this move will make Cassandra attack Ivan next turn. 
So that will protect Tatis a little bit, which is great. Oh, never mind. It was supposed to protect Tatis. I thought that's how that worked. Wait, 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 one second. One blooming second there. Ivan will pull aggro of surrounding units for one turn. That didn't appear to happen. Um, yeah, that didn't appear to work. Oh well. Alright, just hit her. I mean, that's very impolite. You're not supposed to hit women, I know, but... Ivan is a, uh, a gentleman of the new age, and he believes in gender equality for everyone. Aggressive champion, very nice, and we got a fan. That's kind of cool. Cassandra thinks we're a brute. Well, that's kind of true. Barbarian, how dare you attack during a civilized conversation? Feel like you are the reason the gods left us. I hope your bloody ways lead you to ruin. Wow. Um, okay. Rivolo is gone with the main man here. Somehow he managed to take the entire thing. I don't actually know. Suddenly a hooded figure appears on the scene. Amazing! I saw how you handled that encounter right now. Your savagery and brute strength showed in that fierce battle. I'm honored that someone like you is looking for our history. Okay then. Allow me to help with the divination. What is the dream you chase? And Anna is obsessively curious, so she thirsts for knowledge, and that's our only option. So here we go. We would really like to see Sapphire here. 75% chance at it, that's what we want. Let's hope we get it. Science, a noble cause for sure. I sense the earth is excited to be discovered. Give me a minute. Let's see what we find. Come on, Sea Sapphire. Yes, indeed. That was great. All right, so the Sea Sapphire gives us plus one study at the end of each expedition for each level of an engineer or each level of archaeologist. Um, we don't have an archaeologist. We do have one engineer, and that will get better as time goes as we add more perks. So we're going to go ahead and take that. For now, it only gives us one study, but uh, it will come in handy later. With this last find, our expedition concludes on a very high note. Excellent. But we still have to beat Ravelo. Fortunately, we're doing a very good job of that right now. 8-2. Let's head back. Here we are, counting up all of our booty. Should be a lot of study here. Which I love to see. I love getting the research early. Very nice. 180. Not bad at all. And here we are, back at the overmap. We do not need to uh, go to the ceremony for the Emperor. We've already been there. But we are going to grab our renowned Explorer's Membership Badge and gain plus two supplies. Very nice. All right, we will do the overmap stuff next time because we've already been doing this for 30 minutes. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like the video, put a like on it. If you want to see more as it comes out, go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you next time.